Let's get this started. I will open the, the knowledge base because I want to show you how, how things are getting done. Okay, here we have a list of a few things that you have to get. Let me make this bigger. Like this, I think this is good. Let me know if you can't see it and I will help you, okay? So, as you can see here, welcome stuff where we explain how the ordering pro the ordering platform works how to get the how where we are right now talking in regards to today's lesson is that we have already done our apps and the apps are in the stores and you have tested them and everything works perfectly and you can uh, the customers can start downloading the temporal domain which is doing good see you everywhere but your real installation like your project i want to let you know i don't know so those that is another thing that you will have to to get done the google maps api key must be set some of you are having issues with that the most common issue is that the apis are not well set take a look at the article here and you will find out what is happening if you can't understand the article or something or even if you don't want to read it please send an email to support at .co or submit a ticket here submit a request i will show you like how it looks Okay, it's loading. It's a bit slow. If you have any questions, do not forget them to write them in the chat. As soon as I get some time, I will answer all of them, okay? So now we are logged in. If we click here in submit as a request, you here submit what is going on. What are you having questions about, okay? So let me go back, uh, getting started. Uh, here. Also, when I talk about your apps being ready and that your customers can use it, this means that you already have the delivery zone set, the business menu set, the prices of your me of your products. Everything must be set because the customer, when he gets in your website, he must be able to purchase already to purchase all of the products or services you have there. Okay, that is very important. For example, here in the demo, business, each business, you can see the products, categories, rating, everything is set here. For example, your site must be looking something like this with nice images, nice product options, the prices are of everything, the domain must be, must be yours, banners, logos, information of the store like opening time location photo gallery if you have oh take a look this looks nice nice this looks very very delicious okay reviews if your customer has reviews sorry if, if your store has have any review it'll look like this so make sure to get everything set before you launch okay also the one of the most important things if you have an upselling feature make sure to put some products here in order to get more money okay uh, if you have login uh, someone asked about login who was it uh, omar omar let's take a look so i will quick show you how the facebook login must be set actually here facebook Facebook login, here is. Okay, so you will have to be sure that all that is, everything that is explained in this video is done correctly, okay? In further lessons, I will explain, and I will do an exercise with you live on how we can make this happen, okay? So, uh, ta -ta -ta. 
you have to get in the developers.facebook.com. You have to create a new ID. Here you put some information that is explained here. Okay, Omar, so you have to take a look. Uh, make sure to fill up everything. Then you add a website. Then you add a few URLs that we already have in this particular um, tutorial. So you, you don't have to figure out what uh, Omar in the builder. Let me open my builder. One second. I'll get back to the questions. I see there are some some of questions over there. Okay. So the bundle, Omar, what is it called here? Bundle ID is this one, is the package. It must match between Facebook and your apps. Okay. Then you add the Android. It's kind of the similar thing. You have to put the Google Play package name, which is the same package that is in the builder. The class name is this one. Here it is actually. You can copy and paste it, okay? Don't put something else because it won't work. Android and a website. You click save or save changes or update or whatever is saying here. I'm saying whatever because Facebook sometimes change the layout, but the functionalities are the same, okay? Now, after we did all that, we have to click in the products and then set up login with, with Facebook, then go in settings and establish all this. Most of the times the issues, Omar, are here, okay? Make sure to have the settings like this and make sure to put the URLs like this. First, localhost, then Facebook, this. Then HTTPS, uh, two points, slash, slash, and everything. And then your domain, the, the, the real domain, okay? Put them in this order. Now you set the app for review. Put the application identifier in the Facebook ID field in the builder. And then uh, na the name, the name of the Facebook app name, it's the same as your app. And then go in here, super admin. As a super admin, go inside admin area, more integrations. I uh, know oh it is here right now. It is here, it, it is in settings, then Facebook settings, and then put this stuff. I can see the article is a bit outdated. I will make sure to update it and I will let you know once. Well, you can see the article after and it will work. Okay. Omar, make sure that we have everything there set. And if there's something misses, don't miss it, uh, missing, do not forget to send an email to support or submit a ticket right he here. Somewhere else. Put in order. Okay. Okay. No thanks. Okay. So now that we are logged in as a super admin, imagine that I make sure to have a Stripe set up, okay, for the customers just to click here uh, and select the card. Also, I would recommend you to change this. Actually, just do it. It's not a recommendation. Just do it. You have to change this thing that says Stripe, the language uh, variable, to say credit card or debit card. So, because if I'm a customer and I don't know what's Stripe, I will just say, hmm, they only have cash, card delivery, and Stripe, whatever that's it, that is, okay? Change this text to say cart or credit card or, or anything. And then the customer will click on it and I will say, okay, this is for the, this is where I put the card. I can add a card here. And they just put their own card and then you can get paid, okay? Now, once we place the order, uh, deals. Okay, excuse me. Uh, let's use Stripe and then this one. As accept. The other, the the other like um, the administration uh, party, you guys, 
must be must know must know that they have to continue the orders. You have to get ready to receive orders right away. And if you have the drivers, make sure to get them live in their in their apps. Uh, if the business apps are working for your stores, make sure for them to be logged in or must have to launch the push notification services. We we will de we deliver your apps, uh, the IPA file and the APK file in less than 10 working days. After that, you have to test them and you have to make sure everything works. And if something is not working properly, make sure to get in touch with us to make it work perfectly, okay? Also, uh, these push notification services, we are talking about those push notifications that your customer, your driver, and your business owner will get in their devices every time there is an, uh, an order status change, okay? Bear that in mind. These are, these, those are very important. Also, uh, there are a few things that like tips, okay? Clear catch. This means, well, you, you, you have to do it, but your customers will see the first thing uh, the last thing that you updated, the first time they they get in your site, okay? Or don't load your apps or anything. Also, inform your customers using a, a, a mailing campaign or maybe a push notification on their devices when they install the app. Um, use Facebook ads to advertise your product. Um, Google ads to rank up. Uh, there are a lot of things. Also, you can submit your URL uh, to the search engines, you just have to do this uh, setup, okay, to submit the ordering website that you have in, in the search engines. Also, if you want to put your site somewhere else, like in a landing page that you might have, read this article. It explains how to get your your um, your website showing on any website you have, okay? You have to embed this code and then so, then just do a few changes. Okay, uh, if you're having any issues, like 404, um, make sure to follow this and have to make sure that um, before you immerse. Happy weekend, guys. Be safe and I will see you on Monday. Thank you and have a great weekend.